Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Look, 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 look. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Is that a beauty or what? Now, when I tell you you can rub it on your body, I'm not kidding. No, no, no they think I'm a nuts, but I'm not. This, look at this, look at this. <laughs> okay, friends, this is a super easy sauce and you can serve with pork, chicken, veal, lamb, name it. You can serve it with it. You can make it good enough to rub on your body. I'm telling you, wait until you test it. You'll see. You're going to go, man, I like to have some of that sauces. So this is it. We're going to start making it. And the, the secret ingredient, believe it or not, friends, is that beef stock right there. Now, I made a video on that, folks. You got the video. You know how to do it. Okay? If you don't have one of those, you can take your uh, beef broth and add some tomato paste and cook it for a little while, and you get a nice, thick, beautiful reduction right there. All right? So let's get going. And now, port wine sauce, I'm going to make it as a sole recipe so you guys be able to get it whenever you feel like having it without having to wash the pork loin because this is a sauce you can put with anything, eh? You can put it with, uh, with lamb, you can put it with chicken, you can put it with pork, you can put it with uh, 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 beef, you can put it with anything. I'm telling you, this sauce is amazing. We have a little bit of butter and a little bit of uh, olive oil, and I'm using this butter olive oil. Uh, butter olive oil. <laughs> I love olive oil, I love butter. <laughs> this is for me. No, no, I'm telling you, this, this thing was made for me. This is amazing. It smells like, like butter and olive oil together. This is like, this is what makes me happy. <laughs> you know, some people like a bottle of wine. Give me a bottle or a bottle of olive oil. <laughs> oh, baby. So here it is. We're going to make a very simple sauce. Eh? We're going to saute some shallots. If you don't have shallots, use onion. Okay? And, and, and if you are in May, June, July, August, by all means, be sure to be using the Vidalia onion. The sweet. Oh, or, or whatever sweet onion. There's a lot of sweet onion on there. Walla walla, it's another sweet onion. There's a lot of other onion on there that are very sweet, and I don't necessarily know them because I, I'm, not, I'm in Florida, and in Florida we don't necessarily get everything, you see. In Florida we're like a little stuck in there, and we don't get a lot of the good stuff that you guys get all over the country, all over the world. I mean, we, we have people now watching us all over the world. They got onion, sweet onions all over the world. So we're very lucky that we got such a wide audience, folks. This sauce, I'm telling you, friends, is uh, so easy to make. It's so easy to make. I want you to really enjoy it. Now, tonight I'm making it with thyme. Thyme is, you know, it's very uh, floral. It's very mild. It's a very happy herbs. It goes with just about anything. Targon will be really good for that. If you have some targon, you could put in there. Uh, really delicious. Sage will be delicious in there. But pick one, okay? Don't go out there and give me 17 herbs because you got them, right? A little bit of sage right there. I mean, a uh, uh, thyme right there. And uh, you know what I like to do? I like to kind of saute my thymes a little bit, dry like this, like right now I'm doing. You, can you hear them? Can you hear them? You see? It's kind of like a little crackling. What if you could smell uh, fresh thyme that is crackling like that? It's really special. Let me tell you. It's really, really wonderful, friends. We want to caramelize all this properly, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a spatula and we're going to rub the side of our pot. And the pot I'm using is a reduction saucepan. Eh? This is really important. If you want to become a good cook one day, buy yourself a reduction pan, okay, friends? It's very important. Next ingredient we're going to put in is a balsamic vinegar. This happened to be a black mission fig balsamic vinegar, black mission fig. It's an 18 year old balsamic vinegar. You don't have that, just put a good balsamic vinegar in there, okay? This, you can get it on our website. Let me tell you something. This vinegar with tomato mozzarella, with fish, with thyme, that's another thing you can rub on your body. Just saying, okay, you don't have to do it. Don't say, look, I did it because chef told us. <laughs> all right? Now my vinegar is 18 years old. They lost all of its acidity, so I don't need to reduce it anymore, okay? But if it makes you happy, you go ahead and do it. In the meantime, I'm going to put a little port wine in there. Now, port wine is a fortified wine. And I use a ruby port wine. Port wine, Madeira Masala are wine that do not need to be reduced. Any, if you don't have any Masala or, or Madeira or port, you use a regular red wine. But if you use a regular red wine, you have to reduce it. Reduce it by half. Okay? That means reduce it by half. That means right there, 
reduce the volume by half. Now we're going to put the stock. This is our beef stock right there. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful and thick that is. That's gorgeous. Right? Put the beef stock in there right there. Let's put some salt and pepper in there, friends. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Right up. And ready, let it reduce. Now, remember, it's the kind of sauce and you can let it reduce if you want. But if you want to reduce and you, have, and you want to have some sauce left, uh, you're going to have to really, really, really reduce. What I recommend you do is to thicken slightly with a little bit of cornstarch. Let it cook for a while, though, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to let it cook for a while. And to get the flavor of the shallots, to get the flavor of the thyme, you don't need it more than 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to let it cook 10, 10, 15 minutes, okay? We're going to let it cook. And the sauce is, uh, is really, really cooked. I can smell it. It smells beautiful. I want you to see. You see all that stuff right there, folks? The shallots that I've cooked, the thyme, all that stuff. We got the flavor out of it. There's no sense of keeping it. No sense. See, right there, you don't want to keep that stuff. You don't want to keep that stuff at all. Because you got the flavor out of it. There's no reason to keep it. So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of it. But before we do that, we're going to put a touch, a touch, a touch of cornstarch. Very simple, friend. When the sauce is too thick, it's too thin. Put a touch of cornstarch. Be careful, though. When your sauce is, has to be boiling, a little bit of cornstarch, very, very little, diluted in water. Just a little bit, very little. Very, ooh, la, la, very little, okay? Be careful, friends. You put too much cornstarch. What's your solution? Put a little more port wine. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Or, or, or add a little more stock, okay? So look, we're looking good. We're looking good. Just, uh, just a little bit. Just, oh, mama mia. Just a little bit more, okay? So look, 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 we're looking good. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now what do we do? We're going to strain it. Now, of course, easy for me to do, right? Because Antonio does my pot back there. <laughs> You guys at home said, I got to wash another pot. I know, I know. You don't have to. You can leave all the stuff in there. Oh, I'm holding it wrong. There you go. Now, uh, you can leave it in there if you want. That stuff gives me a nightmare. Look, 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 look. See what you do? You take a, take a ladle. Then you're using and you go like this. Look, 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 look. See? You see? Look at this, folks. Look at this. Look at this. We haven't seen nothing yet. I can't even use this ladle anymore now. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna get a new ladle, I'm gonna get a new ladle. I guess I'm not using this one. It's full of that. Look, 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 look. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about? Is that a sauce or is that a sauce? Thank you very much. So you know what'll make it good even better? What will make it good even better? Don't go anywhere, look. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Look. Now, make sure when you do this, turn the heat off. And you're going to say, why do I turn the heat off? Because you don't want the butter to separate. Remember, to clarify butter, you bring it to boil. Because that's what it takes to separate it. I don't want to separate it. If nothing else, I want it to stay together. So, you take a little whisk. And you whisk it in as fast as you can. I put, let me put a little more in there. Let me put a little more. <laughs> let me put a little more. They're going to sing I'm nuts. But that's okay. I am nuts. God bless it. I love my life. Hey, this is a hell of a job, isn't it? You get to make this for a living. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky I do this for a living. I've been doing this for 50 years, folks. It gets better every year. I'm telling you, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Look, 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 look. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Is that a beauty or what? Now when I tell you you can rub it on your body, I'm not kidding. No, no, no they think I'm a nut, but I'm not. This, look at this, look at this. Oh, I gotta have a spoon. I gotta have a spoon. Oh yeah, baby, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Need a more salt. This is almost salt. Oh, yeah, baby. This is going to be amazing. I'm telling you.